So now we're getting into ball handling and just keeping with the concept of progression. Uh, something I notice, especially with younger players, they're going to have this tendency to obviously look down and we want to train them to, to be able to dribble well looking up. And I think it's not enough just to tell them that it's important. I think we need to make sure that they understand how the ball feels. And so what you're watching are a few warm-up drills um, that just emphasize, you know, that the player's ability to feel the ball, move it in different directions. And, and if you can at first train them how to feel the ball, they're going to be less reliant on looking at it while they dribble. So you just saw some finger taps emphasizing using your fingers. Um, slams, when we were slamming it back and forth, that emphasizes hand strength. And these are just, you know, being able to move the ball in different direction, get your hands comfortable at it. You just saw around the leg. Uh, this right here is figure eight. Um, and then, obviously, you want to kind of, whatever you do, you want to be able to do it in both directions. So now you're looking at the, uh, the backwards version of figure eight. Keep going and make sure they're looking up and not down at the ball the whole time. Uh, so this is the in and out dribble. We're starting with the right hand. Just keeping with the concept of being able to move the ball in pretty much every type of direction. Um, now push pull. So you're going from your side just forward and backward. So see we already make sure they're knowing how to push it to the right, the left, and forward and backwards. And obviously can't emphasize the importance enough of making sure they do it with both hands and if not spending more time on their offhand which is the left hand for most people so now we're working on crossover this is just about keeping it low keeping it below your knees close to your body and just just getting it back and forth as, as fast as possible just you got to be able to switch hands right and now I'm having them just plant off of one foot and make an explosive movement to the side because these crossovers are often going to involve, you know, really planting and making an explosive change of direction. So now we work on my favorite ball handling drill, the tennis ball toss. Uh, there's a lot of uh, variety to this, so you can do it with, you know, the most basic level players and you can do it with the most advanced level players. Uh, the point is that in a game, you're going to have to look up and you're going to have to be able to see the floor and pay attention to a bunch of different things while dribbling, while, working on, while doing all the moves that we work on, right? And so what the tennis ball does is it trains you to pay attention to something else and have to dribble at the same time, which in turn makes the ball handling a lot more second nature. Because in a game, you're not going to have time to think about the move you want to make. Um, you're going to need to make it instinctually. And the way that we make it instinctual is by spending a lot of time drilling it in practice. And uh, here you see we're just spending extra time on the left hand uh, because, you know, he's right-handed. So we always want to put in a little more time into whatever the offhand is. Um, this is also a way to work on moves. So you throw the ball in the air, have them work on a crossover or, or whatever type of move. And then you can actually change the speed at which you throw the ball as a way of forcing them to dribble faster. So if it's, you know, if they're just learning the drill, you want to toss it high and slow and give them time. But if they're more advanced, you know, throw it at them quickly and that forces them to speed up their dribble.